Welcome everybody to some more Dragon Quest. We caught the Slayer of the Sands in the last episode, and Prince Bluff is taking the the uh, achievement for himself so that we can have the uh, misspelled rainbow to get to Yggdrasil. Oh boy. Yep, he's taking credit for our deeds. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of Rolf from Ed and Nettie. And Rowan. It's like a combination of Rowan and Rolf. Conqueror? Just beat up a scorpion that was in the desert. How do you does that make you a conqueror? Yes, I captured the beast, but I did not act alone. For it was your love, your bro. You could have mentioned us. Strength I so needed. Yes. Uh, Eric, you still have that dagger, right? You want to drop it accidentally and throw? Uh oh. See, this is this what I was that wondering. Me to continue serving you until my dying death. Now turn around and snap. Yep. Remember when that last episode when I said those chains were probably gonna break? Yeah, well they broke. So uh what you gonna do now, Prince Fluff, huh? Now that the scorpion's literally roaring at everybody? We have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Oh my goodness. I hate these sort of things in stories. Yes, we have nothing to fear with the prince on our side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that's, this is so horrible to watch. I hate watching these things where people lie and like everyone's caught up and well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. Come on, Fluff. Come on, Prince Fluff. He's gonna run, isn't he? Fight, fight, fight. Oh, what? He finally realized that he's a coward? I like how it hasn't even. He's just like the, the scorpion's just kind of sitting there. Repeat after me now. A nice word. Ooh, Silvando. Is that you? A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm. Uh, huh? Where are you, Silvando? Oh, of course, making the what? eccentric no, ent ent uh, entrances. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and, and never retreats in the face of adversity. You got it, Fluff. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? Yeah, come on, Fluff. You got this. Take out that scorpion. There you go. Now we'll help you out, I think. Yo, he's actually going in. Look at that. Let's go, Prince Fluff. He's actually battling the scorpion. Oh. Now what? Um. He's just gonna attack with a broken sword. Oh. He dead. Oh, Sylvanda's coming in for the rescue. Um, ooh, look at that. Look at his smirk. He's like, yep, that was me, Prince Ipu. <laughs> oh, you were wonderful. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? Yeah, he actually uh, went face to face for it for a few seconds until his sword broke. Wait, did you? Yes, he did. to remind you what it means to be a knight though better not go forgetting again huh yeah Sylvanda mm -hmm. you're pretty cool Ooh, this cutscene lasted too long <laughs> I, had, I hadn't moved the joy cons in a while so it was like I'm dulling up wait a friend where did you become so well versed in the ways of chivalry are you a knight nope just a simple traveling jester that's what he's gonna say five bucks as he says it 
Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. Yep. Spot on the money. <laughs> Why is the fat king just like in some little underwear like trousers? Yes, father. It It was he who rode my horse oh. in the Southern National. And he who captured the slayer of the sands. There he goes. Now he's admitting the truth. He's understandably upset, or more disappointed, I guess Varys, you could say. Look at me. The burden that was placed upon you. It was more than any boy could be expected to bear. Except me, because I'm cool, I did all that. It is I who must uh, apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. Yeah, but same f should go for frickin' fluff. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Yeah, thanks to, uh... Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Sir Hendrik? <gasps> Your dream will come true at Uh, last. no, don't go to Sir Hendrik. I am so pleased for don't you. Don't go to Sir Hendrik. Hendrik sucks. <laughs> Stop laughing, please. Hendrik sucks. He's actually trying to kill me. Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Yeah. Also, what is your connection to the uh, kingdom? But I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It yes, is can a we have it now? Treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Yeah, can I have the branch sitting on the altar? Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. <laughs> what? What would yes, me too, to Fluff. sell one of our most precious treasures? A traveling merchant? Seriously? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Excuse me? F Father, I... So where's the merchant now? Do we have to go buy it off him? Look at his little shoes. <laughs> Forgive me. All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. What merchant was it? Oh, was it that old this man? This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads What there. letter? Those are just your fingernails. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. I don't want your fingernails. It's... <laughs> okay, well, thanks for the letter anyway. <laughs> okay. pardons! I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, yeah, thinking about I it, we pretty not. much helped him for nothing. What it is scant consolation. I, I don't want your sure. fingernails either. Jeez. Please take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. Okay, what is it? It, it better be something good. It allows to provoke distant foes into combat, and uh... is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. <laughs> Excuse me? What is this? It's a skill. Whoa! A crossbow? That's cool. You have done our kingdom. <laughs> Wait, great he's off his <laughs> Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. Went from bowing to being posing and now the dad's like, what and the as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I am sure there will be other Gallum. <laughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. Come on, you learned your lesson, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Come on. What a bunch of dopes. Let's get out of here, Eric. <laughs> Alright, let's let's leave, Eric. I'm tired of this place. I was beginning to think you would snuck out through the stage door. Silvando? Huh? Where are you making your entrance from this time, buddy? At the top of the gate. Called it! <laughs> Freaking Silvando, dude! You just get up here to. <laughs> what do you want this time? <laughs> Eric's just done with him. <laughs> what the heck was that? He ya! Oh, he literally just coy, fell darling. 50 feet. Just like he you, of course. you should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. So what? Why do you want you to though? What's your motivation? About? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <laughs> <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it 
recent. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? Fair enough. But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. And you want to make the world a more you peaceful know, place so that you can always, always be just a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. Uh huh. But and you need how to... can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? Yeah, so before you can be a jester, you gotta take out the what dark I'm one. What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. I'm actually pretty excited for Silvano to be on the team. He looks pretty cool. Man, now we get to clown around forever. <laughs> Silvano, dude. His poses are just so stupid and he just appears out of nowhere and he's just like, Hey, I'm here. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be you're gonna be exciting for this place. This I already know. Take no for an answer, huh? <laughs> Looks like he's button heads with Eric for a little now. bit. Yay! So tell me, what's our next move? Good question. Well, uh, we're heading to get west. To Yggdrasil, we're going to need the rainbow, and it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Yep, and now we gotta go buy it off him for like five million dollars. Honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. Ooh, do we get a boat in this game? That's true. Well, mm, then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry. And How much money do we need, jeez? The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. The little people that you want to make smile? What's okay. Your bright idea then. What, we buy a ship? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? Um, and yeah, I agree, you, actually. I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. You really just bought a ship? What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute! <laughs> I agree with Veronica you for really once. Would be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvanda? Where's but the period after the mister? That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why Gondolia, of course! Lucky! Sure. So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmates! Westward ho! Someone's energetic. <laughs> Look at this, what the heck? Silvando comes at level 15 and we're all like level... <laughs> Wait. Oh, I can get rid of... Wait, what happens if I... Get rid of Sylvanda. No, I still, I still am me. Okay. Um, I think for now I'm gonna have Sylvanda replace Eric because Eric has like the he's like the highest level, uh, uh, highest level out of everybody. So Eric's gonna wait for a while, even though I always want Eric on my team because he's like he's my bud. Horse Hailer? Okay. Just give that a tinkle and a horse will come a galloping. No, have no water where you happen to be. Okay, that's cool. So I don't have to use like the bell or anything. Gotcha. Okay, I just got a letter from that guy as a side quest. Got to give it to his sister in a bakery. So can I pass through here? Yes, I have his fingernails. Well, now let's see. This is his excellency's uh, fingernails. <laughs> then you may pass. Once you've left the checkpoint and passed the cave, you will arrive in Lagundia di Gondolia. It is a lush and bountiful region. Okay, cool. Move. So now I got Silvana. Let's see. Let's check out Silvana. Look at, look at him go. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready to have, like, Silva. I'm ready to see, like, what he- how he interacts with the other characters. Lagunda di Gondalia. Okay, so what kind of enemies are here besides- Okay, we've already seen these guys. Flythons and Crabberdabberdews. We've dealt with this kind of stuff before. But let's just take a look around. It looks pretty cool so far. Kind of back in the fields once again. Kind of like at the- back by Cobblestone, except there's, like, this huge ocean. So I'm wondering, do we literally get to control the ship? In Dragon Quest Nine. There it is again. I'm sorry, it's just gonna keep happening. But yeah, in Dragon Quest Nine, you got to control the ship, and you would like run into battles while you're on it. Also, here's another uh, place. So do I get to warp to this anytime I want to now? Now that I got here, I can't. I might have to stay the night if I want to. So I'm gonna stay the night real quick, just so that I can warp here whenever I want. There we go. Thought so. Yeah, it, it looks like you have to stay the night if you want to uh, warp to some place. So we got up at the crack of dawn, and so we're heading off again. This time we have to climb a little bit. I just always love going to a new region you just get to explore all around even in just 
I don't want to keep talking about Dragon Quest IX, but still, in that game, like, every time I was introduced to a new area, all I wanted to do was just look around and explore. So this is like a little swamp area, and I see, like, upgraded platypunks right here. Let's check them out. Let's see. What are you? Uh, I can't even tell. Oh, those knights are... Okay, a bunch of new enemies. Let's see. Oh, we don't have... Uh... See, I love having half-inch so that I can always get new items. So let's see. We have... Restless armor, I remember that. Muddy hand and splatty punks. These guys I haven't seen before. Splatty punks. That makes sense, I guess, because they're, uh... They're, like, in a... 30 damage? Wow. And I grinded after I fought the, uh... The sand, the sand scorpion guy. I grinded quite a bit. Okay, Silvando. That was a very odd hit sound. I'm gonna go for Bang just to get some, uh... Damage on everybody. That should take care of the splatty punk as well. And then... Look at the hands, they're like behind each other. Oh shoot, I forgot to change Silvando to uh... Muddy hand calls for backup. Ew! Why are they just... Wrestle's armor. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty tough, because they got the big shields. And now they have a pretty big dodge chance. So I want to make sure I change Silvando's to follow orders. I want to make sure everyone's following my orders, just because I don't want them to just use default attacks. So I, I'm kind of curious. What kind of attacks does Silvando have? I don't think I've attributed any skill points yet, so let's see. Reheal automatically restores at least 9 HP. That's kind of cool. How many each turn? Mmm. Gotcha. So what abilities does he have? Hot Lick. So he's like a Ministrel. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna go for the Muddy Hand. Why not? Gotta change his sword, too. So if he's like a Ministrel class, he should, he should be able to learn um, some offensive spells, I think. But, uh, I don't know, I guess, so. I, I know I'm like the warrior class. And then, Veronica's a mage, Serene's a priest. Hey, come on! See, this, yeah, they also summon heal slimes, that's what I hate. Them summoning heal slimes. So heal slimes should be weak, though. I don't know if they're upgraded heal slimes. So yeah, heal slime just dies. So, I'll go for flame slash again. Hopefully this, uh, restless armor is gonna get taken out here soon. Um... Serena still only has Wu, so I'm hoping she can learn some new offensive spells, even though, despite- Look at him pose! Oh my gosh! Go for Hot Lick right now. Boom. Okay, that's a new animation. I like that. And they're defeated. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, you did alright. Splatty Punk has a treasure chest, and it's a fine fur. See, these are the type of items that I haven't got, and I still need to get through half-inching. Yo, what the heck? I can ride a bee? What is this? Midnight Orc Knights? Interesting. Seems to be having fun. I'd be having fun if I was riding a giant bee. Isn't, didn't you ride giant bees in like... There's a movie where they people ride giant bees. I forget what it is. Is it like The Lost Treasure? It's like a treasure hunting movie. I know that for sure. Um, okay, let's see what this is. I haven't seen this yet. Oh! Yo, that's so cool! That is so cool, he literally just breathes fire on my sword. That is really cool. Thank you, Sylvanda. I appreciate you breathing fire all over the sword. Okay, can we take this guy out? I really want to ride the bee. And I think I know what the point of riding the bee is. It's so that you can hover above the swamp. Yeah. So let's see. Okay, you got blue eyes. So what's with all the eyes? I've gotten like a whole bunch of eyes. Oh my goodness. No, don't. <laughs> Yes! So now we can like, get off and- well actually I don't even think I need to get off to pick up treasure, so I don't know why I did that, but still. Uh, what luck! A seed of skill, awesome. So I know those will probably give me skill points, but I don't think I'll need it. I usually don't like to use the seeds. So what is this? Royal soil, ooh! That's rare. That is- I know for sure that that's a relatively rare item. This is so cool! I love the whole riding monsters feature. This is like completely new to me and I love it. And I, I saw, um, when I was on Twitter the other day, I saw Nintendo, ah frick, they posted a post about, um, about like other animals that you could ride. And they were like, I didn't get to see all of them because I only saw it for a few seconds because I didn't want to spoil myself. But I saw like four other rides that I haven't seen before that I could still ride and I was like, geez, how many ride rideable enemies are in this game? So it seems like there's quite a lot. Okay, so Eric still gets EXP while he's in the back. <laughs> I was trying to make him go a little lower. Okay, I won't go Eric's right now, but I want to see Sylvana. Look at his skill tree. Look at that. He's got tons of swords, knives, whips, lithness. Lithness. 
Oh, this is like the minstrel skill. So what is showmanship? That's his like unique thing. I can't even get down there yet. That's interesting. So I have to like go all tap dance. This is good. Tap dance is good. I'll learn tap dance right now. Dang. He's got tons of skills that he can learn. Silvando. Wow. I wonder, are the skill trees expandable? Like once you finish something, do you get like, do more appear? I wonder. You can't continue this way while mounted? Aw, oh, that sucks. Okay, so there's only like a limited place I can go to with the bee. Or the wasp or whatever it is. But anyway, I also changed my party. I wanted Eric back just so I can half inch. Because now I know that people in the back also receive EXP. I want to make sure that I can uh, get the most stuff. And I was swapped them for Veronica. So are you? I did see another one of these guys. Yeah, the ticking talk person. Tiki talk, so are you? Yes, okay. I did find one of these while I was grinding off screen. It was literally right next to the campsite that I've been to before. So now I can go to three of the TikTok places with the password. So that's interesting. Yo, look at this place. They have like little stuff in the trees. Look at the map in the bottom left. There's just, it's like a huge old maze. Whoa, okay, what are you? Fat tiger? What? It, what the heck? It's like a thing inside of a tiger. Where to? That's a fitting name. <laughs> okay, I look. Those splatty punks' eyes are just like staring straight at me. <laughs> and by me, I mean H. But still. Okay, I need to definitely get Sylvan to a new weapon because his is uh really not that good. I don't know what it is, but like maybe since he's level 15, that could also be it. But I hope that he gets like some extra EXP or something. Cause I know in some games, whoever's the weakest in your party will get the most EXP. Or like, they'll get a higher roll of EXP depending on their level. That way they can catch up to the rest of the party quicker. But uh, I hope Silvano just doesn't stay under leveled the whole time cause that'd be a little boring. Okay, Were Tiger's probably almost gone so he'll probably, we'll take him out I guess, why not. I kind of wanted to half inch him with uh, Eric, but we'll have plenty of opportunities in the future. Ooh, okay, a mini metal. Awesome. I just kind of explored this up. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. Um, so I just I just kind of like explored this little area real quick here, and there wasn't too much. I just saw there was something at the very bottom. It was just an item, and then there was a mini metal in the treasure chest. So there wasn't too much to see here, um, but I can fly again. So that's interesting. Wow. This looks, I love like the waterfalls. Look at this place. The city is back there and I picked up a treasure chest while I was heading over here. And I just got some like iron armor stuff from the treasure chest, but I just want to like explore once again real quick. Ah, the bees. So now I'm riding the bee thing again. Still don't know like, I don't see any places where I can go where it's useful to have the bee. Oh, except over here. Kind of like that. Like if you can't swim, you have to fly over. Chunk of gold ore, that's good stuff. Now I can make more uh, gold rings with that sort of things. Okay, creepy frogs. Somehow I'm already higher level than them. Maybe I grinded a little too hard um, in between episodes. Okay, I see another Tiki Talk guy over there. Am I able to talk to him? Maybe. Nope, he disappears. He's not a he's not a talkable one. Okay, let's see if we can fly over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because <sighs> I know like once you're on, when you're on the land with the bee, you have to like fly. Um, and you start falling down. So if you st if you start falling down, you can't get to some places. So like, I can get to here. Or no, I can't, I can't even get to there because I start falling down really fast. Oh, I fought these guys before. Not the frog, but where have I seen these little things? Shell slimes. What's yours is mine. I swear I fought these things before, but it wasn't in DQ9. Interesting. Maybe in Rocket Slime? <laughs> No, I know where they are. They were villagers in Rocket Slime. That's what they were. So as I was fighting, I just noticed, look at Silvando's artwork in the bottom right. He looks so smug. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's hot lick A because the B is defending and I think we're almost done with these kiddos. They can just please leave. They keep defending. 80 damage! <laughs> The Scorched Earth did 80 damage to the Shell Slime. Oh my gosh. Dang, I keep finding like little stuff. I'm just like exploring around, trying to find little secrets around like the edges. And I've already found like a fair amount of stuff. Like I found a fairy fluff or something. Got the Perfectionist Pearls. Good stuff. But now we'll head into the town and see what's up. So what do we got going on here? Ooh, lots of like, okay. Those boats that are in France a lot, I think. <laughs> 
macho dude surfing. Okay, a bunch of merchant stables. So is this... I wonder, did he leave or did he set up shop? Hmm. What a beautiful place. It feels as though the whole town is bobbing up and down in the waves. I gotta agree, I do love like villages so with a ton of water in them. There were some big scores to be had here. Eric. Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name it. Calm yourself, Eric. Don't steal anything right now. This is where you're keeping your ship, Silvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. I wouldn't be surprised if he was, to be honest. Oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You Ronnie? Know it's not polite to pry. <laughs> okay. All right. The docks are in the southwest. What of the, the heck, Savano? Come on, you gotta reveal something today. about yourself. Oh my gosh. And we all start moving like as slow as molasses. Uh, hello, kid? What? What? Why would. Um, okay. Gondolia. Gotcha. So maybe we should go stalk that kid. He ran over here. Look at, look at him go! <laughs> Wow, this is a, this is a really good looking village. Oh my gosh, these buildings! They remind me of um, gosh, Howl's Castle. Has anyone seen that movie where like the it's in that village with like the building, and you like turn the dial and oh that was cool, good stuff. Um, nope, that's not. I thought that was the kid for a second, but just because he was bent over. Wow, this is a really cool. Hold up, I can run in the little boats. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this. I don't know where I'm going, but crash, 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 crash. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I, do I use these to get to different parts of the, okay. Little galon gondolas. That's what they're called. Wow. Look at, this is so cool. You can see, is that another part of the village? Where's that? Oh, it must be. I just might, I just might not be able to go to it. This is such a cool place. It really is. Uh, there's a guy just chilling under here. He's drunk. <laughs> oh, a treasure. Interesting. So what's in here? Care Reve? Whatever. Dang, I feel like I could just explore around here for like a good 15 minutes or so. I'm going to try and find out where I need to go. But in the meantime, I'm just kind of enjoying sightseeing. What's up with you? No, do not come near. You will destroy me. You will destroy us all. Be gone with you. Uh, are you talking as if I'm like the dark spawn or whatever jeez I still that logic still doesn't really make any sense just because I'm the light one doesn't mean like if you kill me the dark one will leave it just means you're getting rid of the hero that's supposed to get rid of the dark one oh maybe down here I see here's the docks so is this where Silvando wanted us to go where's your boat Silvando don't don't tell me it's like a simple little gondola oh it's through here I gotcha Took me a second, so, uh, Sovando, where's the boat? Can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. Why not? It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. What the heck does that mean? Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? Okay, thank you for speaking English, Eric. <laughs> See, it's the only choice. I am sorry, but Signor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. I see. Signor <laughs> Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Oh, Silvando. Always up for some excitement. Naturalmente, Signor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves. Graceful like the breeze. Oh no, I think I know what like this is. I need to race on the little gondolas, La don't I? Competizione is the reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable oh, men my at this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Silvando, Come on, no. darlings, let's go see what it's all about. Oh no, Silvando, I don't want to race again. First the horses, now the boats. Ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Uh, okay, I, well, I'll, I'll agree to that. I'm kind of hungry. Come on. You know you want to. I know. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Yeah, Veronica. How about you enter the contest with those tiny little arms? Let's see how far you can get. Seriously? 
We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? Gosh, poor Eric. <laughs> she wants food. <laughs> she wants food. <laughs> I'm so she sorry. She's all over. <laughs> but I'm really rather hungry myself, and... Well... We can't leave until the contest's over anyway. So. Oh, Eric, I hate that he's been getting the short end of the stick recently. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them skip away. Oh my gosh. I don't believe this. <laughs> I'll stick with you, Eric, hopefully. Hey, listen, we're kind of in a hurry here, and we really need to get to the dark. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Gosh, thanks, thanks for always being on top of things, Eric. The person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. Doge? In the oh, of no. In no. <laughs> His oh, my God. in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. I'm assuming that means very gentle. You heard the man. Let's go ask this Doge guy to let us... Stop! Uh, stop! Why is something named after a meme? Oh, I hate this. I hate the Doge meme. Even though it's like resurfaced recently. It was an old meme for a while. Now it's resurfaced with a bunch of like ironic Doge memes where they warp the faces. Or put like hats on it like when they were a child or whatever. I... <sighs> don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Wow. So this is Doge's house. Okay, Doge, what's up? Place. Let's see if he's home. Yeah, Doge... Can we get this over with? I want to talk to Doge's little... <laughs> I can barely hear you now. Gosh, I swear. Ah, it's Doge! <laughs> uh, hey. We're looking for the Doge. We need to ask him a favor. I feel, I feel bad for the voice actor of everybody. Always I am happy to help. Help. <gasps> Oh no. Don't tell me you know my face. I have nothing to say to you. Niente. Now you must go and via. The kingdom must have told him that I was around here. What the Hey, wait. That other guy was saying leave me alone, you're going to kill me or something. So much for Malto Gentile. <laughs> I've met kinder judges. Maybe we should have uh Sil Silvando. Took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait. You don't think... Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? That's a good question. Um, huh. Maybe we can have Silvando or someone else ask oh, for... There you are. Us. Veronica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. Ah, Please, again? you have to come and help. Come on. <laughs> Freaking Veronica. Man, you can't take that kid anywhere. <laughs> Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. Yeah, look at those low-res peppers or bananas and... <laughs> it's that back, kid! You dirty, rotten thief! It's not like you can use it anyway. A kid like you wouldn't have the first idea what to do with it's a that wand. same kid that we saw earlier. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. The kid. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. But what are you borrowing it for? Just what's going on here, Serena? Can't we just kick the kid and take the we staff? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We caught up with him here, but he won't give it back. He's a kid. I got this, guys. I'm just gonna kick him and I'll take it back. Oh. Actually, Eric, you seem more fit to do that. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't even have to kick it. Just grabs it. <laughs> Eric. Here. Don't let it get swiped so easily next time. I swear, Eric has to do everything. But what? why did you even want my wand in the first place? It's not worth much money, you know. What? It wants it for something? I, uh... Wants to practice mm -hmm. magic. What oh. is it, kid? Spit it out. <laughs> what? Can he not talk? He's okay, Placido. I explained the situation. <laughs> situation? My name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. Oh no, not the Doge! Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. 
happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. Oh. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. Must have been stolen by some monster. So I think, if I have the magic, maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Why don't you just ask her? Jeez, mm. dumb kid. Fine, you're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost voice. Go on, I'm kind of curious. Uh, what? It's his throat. There's some sort of awful... Oh, he's been cursed. How can you tell? Um, okay. I might be able to help him if I had some birdsong nectar. No, that stuff is super but rare. But I some water from a sacred fountain to make it and, well... Yeah, I know you can like, um... We need a special, very, very holy water to help Placido. See? I hear people talking about something like this. I think you can, um, use alchemy to make one, but still. West of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. Okay. I know I still have the wand. And I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children. Bambini piccoli. <laughs> oh my gosh, they remind and me of Petra. Are hope. You will help him, see? We are the small see? children. Ah, fine, kid. Grazie as long as that kid signore. puts in a good word for me you for the freaking doge. The grotta and make the special nectar. And I will stay to take care of Placido. <laughs> Placido seems a little uh, excited. Well, okay. Uh, I think we're going to help them out in the next episode. We did enough for this episode. We solved Prince Fluff's problem. He became a knight and whatever. And now we're, uh, we're, ooh, look at that lighthouse. That's, that looks pretty cool. I love this place too. So it just has so much great visuals, I guess you could say. Anyway, I think I'll see you all in the next episode. I think I'm pretty excited to continue and see what the heck is up and why people know who I am and whatever. So anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.